Okay, so um, the stack operation, we said push, pop, and uh, the binary operation. Then this is how the stack operates. Remember, the stack, we have only one point of entrance, okay? This is the top of stack. So you start over here. This is your base, and this is your top of stack. So you keep putting things on top of the stack. When you move, you move from the top of stack. فبصفي عندك last in, first out. آخر, the last thing that went in, which was J, J will go out the first. So J, then you enter I, then when you pop, you pop up J, then you can do some operations on the stack. This we are going to discuss, inshallah, in module number four. Now, in terms of uh, operations and operands, we have different types of operations. And these operations are the data transfer operations, مثلا, move instructions. We have the arithmetic operations, زي ال add, with subtract, with mul, with div, division. We have a logical, اللي هم uh, and, or, and um, I think XOR, and of course we have the not. We have a conversions which will convert between the data types. We have input and output. We have system control and we have transfer control. These are for jumps. The types of operands that we can use. Maratani, what is an operand? If I say move AX51, uh, these are operands. For an operand, can you register? Can you number? Can you Character, can يكون logical data. So we have different types of operands and different types of instructions or operations. So during the, to, to the end of the semester, when we are talking about operands and um, operations, when I talk move, when I explain the move instruction later on, I will tell you which operands work with move. You need to know exactly which is, what is allowed and what is not allowed when we talk about each operation, which operands can be used and which operands cannot be used. Uh, I think you have already talked about addressing with Miss Alia in the lab, but here I will explain it in more details. Addressing is the method of accessing the data. So addressing relates to the way by which ranges of locations in the memory or even the virtual memory are referenced. How do I access the memory طبعا we can it's not only the memory uh, only or i access the data some data is immediate other data is registered other data is inside the memory فمثلا i may have move ax5 move ax5 move ax5 these are three different modes of operation when it comes to moving and each one will give you a different answer. So we want to discuss these operations and these addressing operations. So we have several addressing techniques exist, but they all involve trade-offs. Remember, we have limited size of um, data bits. For example, if you have 16, you need to divide the 16 bits into opcode and two operands. So these two operands, if an opcode, let's say it was four bits, then you have six and six. Then the six bits, you need to access, use them to access memory, which is not easy. Then you know, two to the power six is 64. 64, you can access only 64 locations, which is not enough. So we need to find a way to access the memory in in a better way this is through the addressing modes so the trade-offs between the address range and the number of memory reference between the addressing flexibility and the complexity of the address calculations now different types of addressing modes that we are going to discuss are immediate direct indirect register register indirect displacement or index and the stack immediate is quite straightforward where you have, let's say, add five. In this instruction, you add the contents of five to the accumulator. The operand is part of the instruction. The operand is equal to the field address. So this is an 
uh, immediate addressing mode, no memory referencing to fetch, fast, but you have a limited range. So when you have a number, there is always, it's an immediate addressing mode. When you have a number, it's an immediate addressing mode, which is straightforward. The second one is direct. Now direct, address field contains address of the operand, effective address. في عنا إشي اسمه effective address اللي هو the actual address. مثلا I say add ax, b أو add ax, 31. Now if I say b طيب B means what? Means B means go to the memory location specified by B and get your operand. O 31 means go to the memory location 31 get your operand from there. So for example if I say add A add the contents of cell A to the accumulator. طيب cell A means go to the memory addressed by A and get the information. This is called Direct addressing mode. Direct addressing mode. Usually your information is stored in the memory. You can't access it immediately. So instead what you do is basically you um, uh, give the operand address for it. So you either do it like this or you do it like this. Whenever you see these brackets, this is a memory location. Whenever you see these brackets, this is a memory location. So we have immediate, then we have direct, then we have indirect. For example, add A. Magnato, go to the memory location A. Inside it, you are going to find an address. Go to that address. For example, here, add can A. Means here I will go to A. Inside A, I'm going to find an address. Go to that address, then I'm going to find my operand. So, for example, the add A, add the contents of cell A pointed by the contents of A to the accumulator. طبعاً, the same for indirect is equivalent to add 31, 51 with two brackets. This is also indirect. لأنه this part over here is equivalent to A over here. So we have indirect, we have direct, we have immediate, and the third one is register. Register is basically um, you, uh, the operand is held in a register named in the field, limited number of registered and very small. So if I say add AX, BX, the operands are in the registers. So this is straightforward. The second one is register indirect, where you will have add. I'm using add for an example, add ax, bx, but bx is between brackets. This means go to bx, you will find inside it the address where I want to store my information. Why? لأنه you cannot put the address over here. You cannot say add ax 0x 3516758484. It's very difficult like this to put an address inside the instruction. Instead, save this address somewhere. Let's say it is saved inside bx. Go to bx and you will find your address. It's easier to program. It's easier to access the information. And it's easier to manipulate the addresses as you are going to see later on. So this is the register indirect mode. Then we have the displacement. In the displacement mode, we add the contents. Uh, the register is pointing to a memory location. We take that memory location. We add it to the address. Then we find our operand. So we add the register plus the address and put it into the memory. This is called displacement. You, we, we, we use it sometimes because we want to access specific memory location. We have a base address and we want to move in that base address. So we use the register as our movement. So we add the contents of the register 
plus the address of the memory and we start moving inside the memory this is called displacement addressing mode where the EA or the effective address is obtained by adding A plus the register A is the address and R is the register this is basically the registers and the addressing uh, modes on inside the um, uh, microprocessor again once more this is quite straightforward the addressing mode you need to understand them you need to know how to deal with them um, basically uh, the main important thing is you need to know how to access the memory locations and how to read the registers I will not take longer from you uh, in the next class we will be talking about how to read from memory locations because it's not quite that simple and not straight uh, forward do you have any questions on this